smoke and mirrors. It was the day of the children's midsummer party. Thomas was on his way to Brendam Docks. He was to meet Sir Topham Hatt and the Great Magician. The Great Magician was going to do a magic show at the party. Thomas was very excited. As he pulled into the docks, Sir Topham Hatt was waiting with the Great Magician. At the end of the party, the Great Magician is going to do a big trick, boomed Sir Topham Hatt. I call it the grande finale, said the Great Magician, and I need some very special things for it. Thomas thought this was very exciting. You, Thomas, will collect them, added Sir Topham Hatt. And if you do your job well, you can be in the magic show. Thomas was really excited. He really wanted to be in the magic show. Sir Topham Hatt told Thomas to listen very carefully. First, you must go to Maithway to pick up a blue box. Then you have to go to Marin Station to pick up a red carpet. And lastly, you have to go to Knapford to pick up a yellow sheet. But Thomas wasn't listening. He was dreaming about being in the magic show. Can you remember all of that, Thomas? asked Sir Topham Hatt. Yes, sir, puffed Thomas. And he chuffed away. When Thomas arrived at Maithwaite, Elizabeth was making a delivery. I'm going to be in a magic show, tooted Thomas. I've come to collect something for the grand finale. How jolly, steamed Elizabeth. On the platform was a brand new bright red phone box. That must be it, whistled Thomas. And it was loaded onto his flatbed. Next stop, Marin Station, Thomas tooted. Thomas puffed into Marin Station. Bertie the bus was dropping off vacationers. Hello, Bertie, chuffed Thomas. I'm going to be in a magic show. That's nice, said Bertie. What are you doing here? I'm here to pick up something for the grand finale. On the platform was a stack of yellow beach chairs. That must be it, whistled Thomas. The beach chairs were loaded onto his flatbed, and off Thomas chuffed. When Thomas arrived at Knapford Station, Henry was there. I'm going to be in a magic show, puffed Thomas proudly. That's exciting, wished Henry. Why have you come to Knapford? Thomas couldn't quite remember. I have to collect something for the grand finale. Something blue. Well, puffed Henry, there's a big blue flag over there. That must be it, whistled Thomas. The blue flag was soon loaded onto his flatbed, and Thomas puffed off to the party. Thomas was sure the great magician was going to be very pleased with him. Thomas arrived at the party. The children were very excited. They couldn't wait for the magic show to start. I have everything you asked for, puffed Thomas proudly. The red phone box, the yellow beach chairs, and the big blue flag. The great magician was very cross. You have brought all the wrong things. I need my red carpet, my blue box, and my big yellow sheet, said the great magician. Without them, I can't do my grand finale. Thomas felt awful. He had been daydreaming about being in the magic show. He hadn't listened properly to Sir Topham Hatt. He'd puffed to all the right places, but he'd picked up all the wrong things. I'm sorry, he wished sadly. I've been a very silly engine. The magic show was about to start. Then an idea flew into Thomas's funnel. Please, help me unload the flatbed. Then I will pick up all the right things, tooted Thomas. In no time at all, Thomas was unloaded. Thomas knew he would miss the magic show, but he knew he had to be back in time for the grand finale. First, Thomas went to Maithwaite Station. Blue box, blue box, he whooshed to himself. And there he saw the big blue box. Thomas was pleased. 
Soon it was loaded and Thomas raced off. Next, Thomas chuffed to Marin Station. Red carpet, red carpet, he puffed to himself. And sure enough, there was a red carpet ready to be loaded. Thomas was very happy. Lastly, Thomas steamed into Knapford. Yellow sheet, yellow sheet, he sang to himself. And there was the big yellow sheet. It was quickly loaded onto Thomas's flatbed, and Thomas raced back to the party. Thomas arrived back just in time for the grand finale. Thomas had missed almost all of the magic show, but he was pleased that he had done his job properly. The great magician began the grand finale. Abracadabra! Thomas was amazed. The children clapped and cheered. Shazam! Ooh, cried the children. And now for my best magic trick. The children laughed and cheered. And Thomas was the star of the show.